Hi everyone, it's Amy with Leap of Faith Crafts and I'm here today doing my first video on how to splice Disney characters in Cricut Design Space. If you came here from my blog, you probably saw all the pictures of the Disney family shirts that I made um, and they all have names in between the characters. So they are all layered, so you have to splice every single layer. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So when you're in Cricut Design Space, go ahead and go to File and go into New. And let's do the Mickey Mouse. So we're going to insert, go to Insert Images. Up here, I am just going to search Mickey. And on my filter, I will go into My Images. Um, I had purchased the D Disney um, cartridge, so that is linked to my account. So we are going to do this one right here. I'm going to click it and insert the image. <clears throat> Put that on here. I'm just going to make it bigger so I can see what I'm working with. So there's a few ways that um, you can split images, and I will show you both ways. Um, one of them is just to take a chunk out of the middle and put the name there. The other one is actually to split this image in two so you keep all of the image in, together. Um, so the first thing I am going to do is ungroup this because um, you want to be able to split every single <clears throat> different one. Um, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to insert a shape. Um, I am just going to put a square and make him big enough and I'm going to arrange it to the back so I can see it and this is just where oops I didn't want to grab that undo that um, where I want to split it so I'm going to do it kind of right below his buttons there so when you do that grab the box and then I'm going to grab the Mickey and go into slice right here and um, this will only work if it is ungrouped it will only slice one layer at a time <clears throat> so when I pick that that slices it out um, so I'm going to move this one out I'm actually going to move this back in and <clears throat> grab them both and just weld them back together so I have that um, I'm going to move this to the back and then I want to slice the red so I'm going to grab his red clothing and when I mean grab I click on the red clothing then I hit my control button and then I click on the square and hit slice so I'm going to slice that and when I do that I will have his clothes there. So I'm just going to get rid of this box. And this that I don't need. <clears throat> so to put these back together, I'm just going to group putting them back together. <clears throat> and bringing it back up here so I can see it. So I'm making how big how big of a box I want in between. So I kind of line it up and then I pull it down. I'm probably going to make it about that. So I'm going to ungroup these things again and move the face back up. And his eyes in the button and move that layer backward just so I, well, I'm going to grab the tongue, put it back. Obviously, these things don't have to be exact, so I'm just sticking them back in. So to make the bars, um, what I do, I mean, there might be other ways to do this. Um, I 
insert a shape and grab the square and then I unlock it and I make a bar <clears throat> um, kind of as long as I want it and then I go down here and duplicate that bar and then bring that down. So while I'm holding that bar, I hit the control. Well, this one, oh, let's see. <clears throat> Sometimes this works better if it's bigger. So I'm holding that bar, hitting control, hitting that one. I go up to here to align. The align button right there and then I go to center horizontally so that will make sure these are centered and then those I'm actually going to go over here to attach and just attach them together and then what I want to do is actually weld these back into with the black so I click on those hit control on my keypad and grab the black so over here you will see that the black is highlighted over here um, so then I'm going to go up here to weld and hit that and that will weld the bottom and then I'm going to grab this and go up to the top one and go back up again to weld again and weld those together and it just pulls that in front of everything. So I'm going to move that over. Just so I have this grouped, I'm going to put this on a box and go down here to the group button and move this over and that and actually I'm going to bring it forward. So up here on a range grab that one and move it to the back. Oops. So then <clears throat> So there you can kind of do get everything together. So then I'm going to select all and group this just so I can move it around now, resize it, and everything will stay together. So now I'm going to add the name in. So I'm just going to go to add text over here. Um, this one I think I did Papa, so I'm just going to put Papa. <clears throat> and go up into my edit function over here, and I have the Disney font on mine. There's a couple other ones you can download off of Defont. Um, for Disney texts like Walter Graff um, and Walter are both Disney ones to use. But this one I have Disney Mickey. So I just made that. So then this I can just size <clears throat> however I want and put it kind of wherever I want. And I'm going to change this color to white. <clears throat> so there is the whole Mickey there. Um, if you want to change just so you see it better this to black instead of gray what it will look like. And those are all the different layers you have. Um, and then when you want to go and print it or not print it I mean cut it um, you would go to go. Actually, the Papa, I'm going to make sure I attach this um, so it keeps it all together um, or it will split all your letters apart if you don't. And then, and if you want, you can even attach it to the eyes and the buttons for all the white. Um, <clears throat> but I'm. I'm not going to do that just because sometimes when you go to the heat press things 
kind of will shift a little bit and they shrink a little bit so then it doesn't line up exactly. So I'm gonna line up the papa how I want when I actually go to do it on my heat press. So when you go to go, you just need to make sure, and obviously this you can, you would have changed the size. Um, if I X out of this, um, I'm gonna select all again so I have Papa in there now too. And go back down here to group. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Um, so I made mine about, I think eight or nine inches on my shirt. So say I want that, make sure you save it as you're working. Um, so one drawback of design space is it doesn't save while it goes. So when you get into here, <clears throat> you can do your material size. Um, Okay, let me go back. Okay, I'm gonna ungroup these guys. Okay, so when you go to cut it, just make sure you do the image, mirror image for iron-on. Make sure that's clicked on every single sheet and if you want in here to move these around for any reason um, so they fit where what your vinyl looks like you can um, the, every single thing you need to make sure you click um, <clears throat> shoes because there have been a few that I have not clicked and I go down to put them all together and realize that one of them is the wrong way so then you have to redo it so and then when you go to go um, obviously this has to be powered to my Cricut <coughs> and then you just hit this up put it on to um, iron on vinyl on your settings and get to cutting and then you can go back to the rest of my blog and see how I transfer these to the shirts and use my heat press to make the shirts. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.